Now, if it comes down to one piece of gear I'm an absolute fanatic about, it is bags and backpacks. I have been carrying backpacks since I've been a little kid. So in today's Three Minutes to Better Gear, we're gonna explore a brand of backpacks that I have fell in love with over the last seven to eight years. That is Frost River. Now Frost River has a wide variety of different backpack styles and configurations, but my two trusty, my most go-to Frost River bags are the Timber Cruiser and the Timber Cruiser Junior. They're backpacks that I get the most questions about out of any other backpacks that I carry. So with all that excitement said, let's take a look at each one and see which one is gonna Fit your needs best. So we have here the Timber Cruiser and the Timber Cruiser Junior. You can see, of course, the Junior is the smaller version of the big Timber Cruiser. Now, before we actually get into the specs of each one of these bags, I just want to go over quickly Frost River its construction and what the materials are. Now, both of these backpacks are made of 18 ounce wax canvas. They have solid brass hardware all throughout it. All the strapping is made of leather, so there's no plastic on any of these bags. Another really nice feature with this, other than the heavy duty sewing, is all the heavy duty rivets. They're all put in by hand. Now, both of these packs also sport the padded leather back straps so they are somewhat comfortable on the shoulders. Now both of these packs are considered canoe packs in the eyes of Frost River but I've been using them as just woodsman bushcraft packs for some time now and I like both of them equally. Now the Timber Cruiser pack is a very large pack, so it's not something that you're going to want to load up with a ton of equipment and carry around. But really where this pack shines for me is during the winter time. When I need two wool blankets, a tarp, and some type of ground mat, I can stuff the entire center bucket style of this pack because it's one large compartment in the middle with all my sleep equipment. So although it's a big pack, when you put two wool blankets in here and a tarp and a ground cloth, there's really not that much weight. The way you would think that it's actually going to weigh down. The pack itself weighs 6.75 pounds and it has 5,216 cubic inches of space in it. You can see the nice tie downs here made of leather so those buckles tighten down really good and keep the load nice and secure. This pack retails at $370. Now the next pack is the Timber Cruiser Junior. So this Timber Cruiser Junior is 3,110 cubic inches when it's expanded out. So it's about 2,000 cubic inches less than the traditional Timber Cruiser pack. Now this weighs in at five pounds and retails at $330 all the same features except a smaller main compartment. So we did lose due the size, we lost one of those straps down the center, but it still works out really, really well. Now where I really like this pack is if I'm gonna pick one bag for year round. I might not always need the amount of room that I need in that larger bag. Again, that larger bag's great for the winter time. This bag, year round. I could stick a wool blanket in here. I could stick my ground mat. I could stick my hammock in here. And I still have lots of room for a couple extra things. Plus I have these nice side compartments that I can put water bottles in and a few tools. And there you go. We got the Timber Cruiser and the Timber Cruiser Junior. Both great bags. I have to give two thumbs up because I love Frost River in general. I think that they make great equipment. I think their warranty's great. I think very traditional looking, so I absolutely love it. I know it's a little bit tough to swallow the price at times with stuff like this, but I always look at it like you're getting the highest quality piece of gear that you can absolutely get and you're going to have it for a lifetime. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Check out frostriver.com. Check out coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all of our classes and our store merchandise. And uh, yeah, it's getting cold out here. I'm starting to uh, freeze up a little bit. So until the next three minutes to better gear, stay in the woods.